Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. Uh, doing more Space Engineers, and I have added many, many more mods, so... Here's hoping we can weed some of those out, so that they... So we have the best of the best, the cream of the crop. You know, whatever. How to cure off, welcome. So, I mean, my goal tonight is hopefully to weed out some of the crap mods. Or broken mods, or whatever. Um, but also, I need to find the rest of the resources I'm currently missing. Whoa, forgot to turn on my dampeners. Or I did. There we go, okay. Okay, button. Button. Where is the button? There you are, button. Let's see what we get. Rainbow drill. Delightful. Alright, let's see. Uh, I would like your stuff, please. And I would like your stuff, please. Your stuff, please. More stuff, please. There we go. Alright, the rest of the stuff is not really worth getting. S mixed signals. I don't know what that is. Hello, Lord Zyron. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I am doing wonderfully myself. How about you? Um, so last, last we met, um, I have found gold, cobalt, uranium, iron, ice, um, magnesium, nickel, silicon, and silver. So the only one that we're missing is platinum. Um, I don't know how to reliably find that, in all honesty. Um... So, but I do have questions. I have questions for you guys, since you're the ones here watching me. Um, would you prefer if I continued on my um, my uh, survival play? Or would you prefer we go into uh, creative mode and test out all the mods and see if we can weed out some of the bad mods? Because I am up for either of those things tonight. But if no one's interested in weeding out crap mods, then I can easily do that myself later. Yeah, if we wanted, we can switch over to creative mode. And just start building a lot of the, the different new parts that I've added. And see which ones are good or not. Cat? Shit's face? I think the, the count is currently 107, I believe. Oh, Lord Zyron, I am a Trekkie. 
and a fan of Star Wars, whatever those might be called. Star Warsian? I don't know. Um, I like most sci-fi, honestly. And I like most fantasy as well. Uh, I grew up with Next Generation, so I gotta say D. Although when Next Generation went into a um, into a time warp, and they ran across the Enterprise E, I really did love that one. Maybe it was just because it had an epic entrance, or it was one of the few instances where they truly show that they are uh, that they fought in a 3D space, because it came in. If I remember right, it came in pretty much straight from the bottom and up through another ship blasting its way through. Um, so maybe it was just the entrance and the impact that it had that really stuck with me. But I did like the design of it as well. Uh, yeah, yeah. Armored cruise ship sounds about right. I don't have all that much knowledge of the rest of the Trek universe. Um, I, I rarely delve too deeply into any one fandom, so I don't have extensive knowledge of any one thing. Uh, I'm more of a jack-of-all-trades kind of situation. Uh, NX-01... Uh, isn't that the original? Trying to remember if that's the original or not. Alright, so we've got magnesium tacked down there. I'm going to get out of my ship and go get that uh, unknown signal while my ship here tries to read this asteroid. Maybe I'll move it closer first. That did a thing. Iron Cobalt. The NX-01, was that from the actual Enterprise series? Because I'm frankly bad at uh, serial numbers, so... I wouldn't be able to tell if it hit me in the head. Okay. I'm, I'm failing to remember what that one looked like offhand, but I did enjoy that series. Um, I know a lot of people didn't really care for it, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Never mind the, uh... Oh, that was weird. Uh, never mind the starting episode, you know, that had that one scene that was very impressive. Um, everything's glowy. No special item. Okay. was a satellite at some point. I shall take all of your things. I shall take things that are under here. Hey, Sybil! Thank you for the host.
I'm just out here grinding on random objects in space, don't mind me. Oh shit, no oxygen. Um. Um. Right about that. Uh. 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 Why can't I find my damn ship? Alright, you know what? Screw it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get as close as I can. And then be at a stop so that when I die, my stuff doesn't go flying. If I remember right, that happened to me somewhat recently. I think that's how we ended the last episode, actually, now that I think about it. Um, no comment. Me. Me. Alright, so let's grab an oxygen and a hydrogen. I know, right? Aren't I just special? I, I am I am listening, Zyron. So the question then is, where's my corpse? Oh damn it! Why does J have to be so close to K? Awesome! Corpse is gone. Awesome. I have no idea what MAPPA is. MAPPA goes along with Kappa, and I don't know what either of those things are. Alright, I am fairly positive that not only is my corpse this direction, but also my ship that I left behind. Fairly, almost kind of positive. Uh, I can check if I have enough components for that. But I gotta find my ship first. Hey, there's my ship. Um. Why, why did, why did the asteroid just explode? I don't know if I want to know why the asteroid just exploded. Anywho, uh, so we've got cobalt, we've got iron, and we've got magnesium here. So let's uh, mark that before anything else becomes a problem. New from the current position. Uh, it is entirely possible that my corpse ran into this asteroid. Um, so I'm trying to see if I can figure out which direction it was this way that my corpse was. If I go this way, X amount of space, let's go, I don't know, here? And then I attempted to head home from here. This is a complete long shot, by the by, seeing as space is so big. And I was roughly 11 kilometers away from home base. I think it was 11.3 or 4, something like that. Now, is there a way to find my corpse? Hmm... 
I'm gonna guess no. They're not supposed to despawn, though. They're supposed to stick around so you can retrieve your shit. And that's what I was hoping for, because I had shit on that corpse. And not just the stuff that made it out into my suit. Well, fudge. Okay, fine. Nope, it's gone. Whatever I may have had on me is just gone. Balls. Alright, so let's take the ship to a couple more asteroids uh, before we go back, because I really want that platinum. Because I'm, I'm being held back by the lack of platinum in a couple areas. Home base is that way. Bad guys are this way. Mining hauler and Cerberus destroyer. any asteroids that are close? I mean, we have a whole bunch that are close. I could go to any of them. Um, let's go to these ones. I don't know. Um, I don't have a destroyer? Uh, no, Blade, I didn't lose my home base. I lost my corpse after I died just a moment ago. Um, because I'm special. Now, my home base is... Right... There. Which is really just the red ship crashed on an asteroid. So, it's nothing remarkable. Uh, seeing as I don't have any guns, that would be a challenge. Um, best I could do is build something like a ramming ship and hope for the best. Now, I installed a mod that was supposed to get rid of all this ridiculous bloom, but it hasn't happened. There's still a lot of ridiculous bloom. So, that's obnoxious, but okay. Now, there's something about, um, <clears throat> there's something about mod load order, but I don't know all the details on that yet. So, maybe it's not working because it's not in the right load order. Who knows? I would assume top to bottom, and I did put it bottom, so maybe I tried the other direction? Who knows? Oh, I just realized my loud fan thing is on. So hopefully that will reduce any background noise you guys might be hearing. Yeah, I was kind of wondering about that, because, like, each save game has a different mod list. Which is neat, because you don't necessarily have to worry about uninstalling and reinstalling different packs of mods. But still, it makes it difficult to, to properly manage. has popped up on the list. Silver has popped up.
Also, I'm not too much of a fan of the dirty screen look. I mean, a little bit of realism, but at the same time, I... I like good shiny graphics, not intentionally crapified graphics. But that's just me. Alright, so all I'm seeing is silver and iron. Nothing else appears to be popping up. Could attempt to go other side. Aha! I see gold. But my thingy hasn't told me that there's gold. Well, how about we go inside and see if we can find out. Eh, there's gold. Nickel. Uh, this is a pretty decent deposit. Gold, nickel, silver, iron. Potentially more that I can't see. Yeah, no, absolutely. And in fact, I think the cockpit view is a little bit clearer than in third person view, um, which is a little bit silly. All right, so let's mark this one. EL? Yeah, EL. Alright, so let's get out of this heap. And then what was the next direction I was going to go? I'm going to go... I don't remember which direction I was going to go. Should I go that one? There's another one that's kind of sort of close to here, but... That one. Yeah, that one. Just need the platinum, guys. Come on. So since there are more of you here, I will pose the question again. Would it be better if I continued on my uh, survival game, or would it be good to go into uh, creative mode and test out the various mods and see if we can weed out some of the crap, or find the, the gems that might be in there? Because I am up for either of those things tonight. I, I am I am going Dennis currently. You're you're both in the creative mode, okay. Well, right, and and my biggest problem right now is lack of resources. So I can't easily build all of the things I I would like to. Otherwise, yeah, I would be building it in, uh, in, uh, survival. Alright, so, cobalt, uranium. Cobalt, uranium, iron, ice. You know, this is not the most maneuverable bugger, but I'm able to not crash into things, so maybe it's not that bad.
Nope, Cobalt, Iron, Uranium, and Magnesium. Alright. And that makes me wonder, like, how many of these asteroids are so big that they've had deposits of things I wanted, and I just didn't see it? the magnesium. Lovely uh, tealish looking color. Alright, well, let's, let's mark this one as it is. Uh, let's see. Well, from what I've seen of those, there's usually one that has a common resource like uranium or iron or ice, and then the smaller attached Cheerio is usually a more rare resource. At least that's what I've seen so far. And then bigger asteroids that have a smaller little nub asteroid attached to it, those are usually a second more rare resource. Uh, let's see... Yes, kitten. So which way is home? Home is that way. So we're going to start going back that way. We'll stop by anything that happens to be on the way. If anything happens to be on the way. No, this is not a driller. This is purely a scout ship uh, built to go quickly. As quickly as I could manage to build a ship. Um, and it's got an ore... Uh, sensor on the front to find ores on asteroids because I was having a hard time with the miner going out and trying to find asteroids because it was just so damn slow and I could do it by hand like I can move a lot faster without a ship um, but the hand drill does not have a very good range so I end up spending a lot of time at each asteroid trying to find the different ores Alright, let's get near this thing. Eventually stop. There we go. one of these. I hate them so much. I know I can just run them out. Like, eventually they'll just run out of juice, but... Wait, wait, I have a button for this. Hold up. See if I can do this. See if I can do this. No. Okay, that's not working. There's a button, and I need to get it to work. I have a mod that's um, got relative dampening. So supposedly... My inertia works. Ah! Relative inertia dampening is amazing. Right now we are going at 23 meters per second in some direction. Whoa! And now he's going that way!
button. Button? Not that button. Uh, button? Yay, button. Lava grinder. That's the first one I've gotten that's not animal related. It does sound nifty. Oops. Oh well. Um. Whole thing broke apart. Yes, lava grinder. That is, that is that is exactly what I said. Okay, so nothing in here. Uh, I would like the buttons, please. That that uh, relative dampening is amazing. Now that I've had a chance to play with it. I'm not entirely sure. Right, I think that's all of the parts. Good enough. Okay, where the crap is my ship? There's my ship. At least I didn't go too terribly far away. Asteroids on the way. Well, I don't see anything on the way, so let's go back home and then, uh, yeah, we can switch to do some creatives. is probably about as good as I can do in this ship and actually be able to stop in time. <coughs> so still no platinum. It's unfortunate. all my stuff. At some point I dumped a bunch of stuff in the ship to uh, hold on to while I went and did something else I forgot. So I didn't lose everything. I just lost some stuff. And it was really just basic components. Um, I think the only thing that I lost that I might 
not appreciate is the uh, level 2 um, welder and drill, I think. I don't remember for sure which one. Which one is that again? That's still the destroyer? Okay. I'm trying to decide if I can see that destroyer or if that's an icon. Because if you look in the square down there, it looks like you can kind of see a, a red triangle. Like, is that seeing part of it, or is that just an icon for it? Not sure. I don't think I can see anything from this angle. So, so far, when I've done a little bit of testing in creative mode, um, I have... I kind of have a bad habit of strapping on engines to ships and just going off in a direction and just flying forever, rather than actually testing out the parts. <laughs> so, I don't get very much done, unfortunately. Uh, I do have engine mods, yes. <laughs> that is true. I did test out one of them. Um, and actually, no, I tested out two of them in two different games. Uh, each of them got me uh, probably about 100,000 kilometers before I got tired of doing that and or crashed into an asteroid at uh, 3,000 kilometers per second. <laughs> Hello, Electro Cooper! Welcome. I am also loving this game. But I am relatively new, so try not to get too frustrated at me failing miserably repeatedly, because that's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright. So let's get this ship parked. swap around to uh, creative mode for testing. Done. Alright, uh, actually let me get back in and grab as much of this crap as I can. That's as much crap as I can. Awesome. Uh, no, this is private single player for now. Um, I am not on a server at all, so there's no way to join me. I can arm the red ship, yes. Um, that is, if I have the components to arm the red ship. That is always the challenge. Uh, I want that back. Uh, oxygen. Uh, not story mode, uh, but I am doing a creative or a um, a survival uh, easy start. I think it is. No, I'm not doing the easy start. I'm doing the. Uh, the real world solar system, so there's Jupiter and all that. So it's it's like the crashed red ship, but it also has a solar system. There is a story mode, yes. I have not played with it yet to see what it's like, actually. Alright, let's get parked in here. Exit the one save. No, Google, I'm not calling to you. All 
All right, so do I have... I mean, I guess I have this one? But at this point, I might as well start a new one because I screwed up my last ones. So let's do custom... Uh, easy start... Space, I suppose? Creative... Mods... All of them... Advanced... It's a shame there doesn't seem to be a way to, um... There doesn't seem to be a way to change the defaults. Because I keep having to change these defaults every time. So here's the part where it may or may not take a while. So how y'all doing tonight? We we are loading. Please wait. It's only 107 mods, it's actually not that bad. And a lot of those mods are single item mods. So, in reality, they really shouldn't be um, all that many mods. Yes, you are, Civil. Stick around. Stay a while and listen. So I installed all of the S mods, uh, the, um, they're the part of the moon project thing. <laughs> it is a, a squid on my head, yes. Tiny, tiny angry squid. But yeah, the, the moon project mods are one item mods, so there's like ten of them or something like that. Um, that just yeah add a single part so those ones are a little bit um, I have a hard time counting them as separate mods and if I could merge them into one mod it would be easier that way um, I added the Titan engine uh, there's a nifty like long flame hydrogen engine uh, that's supposedly pretty powerful uh, I added the double tools, so the double grinder, the double drill, the double welder. Um, I also added the tiered tools, because why not? Uh, let's see, I added the... I did get the Titan engine, yes. There was a newer one that um, had been taken over by someone else. Favorite Star Wars ship? Oh, um, honestly, I like the Corellian Corvette. I have not seen what parts it requires. I didn't actually look. I was building it in creative, so I was just seeing, you know, uh, how fast it could go. Uh, it managed to take the, the big red ship uh, up to like a thousand meters per second in, I don't know, maybe 20, 30 seconds. Um, by the time I got it up to about 3,000 meters per second, I let it sit for a long period of time before I finally found an asteroid with my face. And um, the large red ship fared about as well as it did against the asteroid. Uh, maybe a little bit worse, actually. So, you know, the asteroid, um, the, the big red ship that's crashed into the asteroid, that's starting game. Uh, I caused a little bit more damage than that going 3,000 meters per second. So, uh, damage, surprisingly, does not cause a much much problem. Uh, the Munificent. I don't recognize that one. 
I, I'm gonna Google. I'm gonna Google. Where's my mouse? Googling. I don't recognize the Munificent from anything. It's neat looking, but I don't recognize it. What is that from? Uh, in, in the Crashed Red Ship starting game, it's just crashed. Like, it starts that way. Um, in the game where I sped it up, I could have stopped it from crashing, but I was going so fast that I couldn't see the asteroids in time to move it. So, it wasn't gonna happen. Also, this is a thing I noticed. No, I crashed. Um, this random cube is here. I don't know why, but it is. But it can go away. It's just a floating cube. It is what it is. Bonk. And then it goes that way. And it eventually floats off, never to be seen again. Anywho. Um... Clone War era ship. Yeah, I don't know much about the Clone Wars, unfortunately. I know I know some bits and pieces, but I'm, I'm terrible at large amounts of lore, unfortunately. Um, uh, Axel, I probably would at some point later, but not right now. I'm trying to take uh, take care of my um, trying to take care of my mod situation. All right, so let's start off with page two. Uh, let's get... So here's the Titan. Uh, what else do we have? So first off is a mod that actually sorts um, these tabs by the actual mod themselves. So unfortunately it leaves a lot of single part uh, categories, but it also does help separate the mods that have multiple parts. So like the Azimuth complete set, um, the Benton concrete, that kind of thing. Uh, I am I am sure it's not very efficient. Um, but it's nifty. It makes things go. I like this part where it's got nine slots to enter shit into it. <laughs> uh, let's see. So Titan engine. We can we can thrust override and just get rid of the red thing. Like if I thrust override and turn it on, it's just gonna go and I'll never see it again. It'd be kind of amusing. But I also have a mod that lets me color any of my engines. Which is nifty. But yeah, the, the the Titan engine is meant to power capital ships. And it's amusing when you strap it on a ship that's barely frigate class. Because it's like 10% of the whole ship. But it makes the red ship go, for sure. Alright, what else we got? Uh, so we got the big gate... Um, literally nothing other than a large gate. I'm not entirely sure I care. Let's let's pop it down and see what it does. Alright, so this is the big red gate. I am sure if we put a button next to it. Uh, I have other buttons. Let's test out other buttons. Let's do a one button panel. Let's do the one button panel. Uh, apparently, there's no way to put the button on the door in a way that works properly. So let's just put it right there. Alright, so how do I configure the button? Set up actions. 
door. Uh, open and close. That seems like a thing that's useful. So now, button. Okay. Stand. Button. Do things. Yay! Button did things. talking about when you're placing it in this in the world once it seems to have snapped to a grid there's no there's no scroll wheeling it all that much but to place it in the world at random yeah you can you can scroll wheel that okay so we got a door the door is nifty uh, let's see what else we got uh, I got slim cargo boxes Uh, I don't know if they hold any more or less than a basic box, but they look neat. I thought they were neat looking. Um, but I also have... Let's see, so that was... Slim 3x3. Three three. So this is the Slim 5x5, five five, which is apparently smaller. Hold up. Ah, so this is the large ship and these are the small ships. Okay. That makes sense. So then we've got the, uh, yeah, there we go. Well, so the small ones do. These are the small ship parts. And these are the large ship parts. What is that? Oh, that's the... I gotta get rid of that off my bar. Go away. Go. Go. Go away. Oh. <laughs> right. Right. They're not attached. <laughs> let's, let's get rid of those things. Get rid of those things, get rid of those things, get rid of that thing. Alright. Um, now, I also have uh, these... Well, these are different cargoes from Azimuth. Which are also different looking. And then number six. This is the small variant. And I am sure that's an odd distinction. Looks like the small ship one is bigger, I think. See, what else we got? So we have these things now. These are maintenance cubes. Let's go with that one. That one. These are um, maintenance tunnels. That one's actually a sorting variant, so it may or may not need to go there. Um, and then you can put on some more. And uh, we can put on some more. 
put a number nine. So yeah. Nifty little uh, tunnels that also act as um, conveyors. So they're basically Jeffrey's tubes. I don't like that green one. It's too bright. Go away. Too bright. So those are a new thing I added. That one's probably also a sorter, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. Also, hi, Demos, by the way. You kind of snuck in there and just started talking like nothing was happening. Um, we have uh, new conveyor bits. That apparently I can't place down unless I'm actually attaching it to a conveyor part. But yeah, just just standard T's and stuff, rather than having to use the the six-way block that you would normally get. Uh, there's also actually they're all tied to the standard conveyor tube, which is nice. I know conveyor T junction. Not use the right conveyor. I did. Okay, so we've got um, we got the standard straight. We've got the elbow. We've also got the stupidly long, which is stupidly long. And then we have the slightly less stupidly long. See, we also have uh, these, which have little um, hangy doodads. So if you're placing them under your uh, base, they can look like they're hanging there. Uh, there's also the long hang variant. <laughs> uh, if I say yes, is that okay? Uh, we have a three-way T. Uh, we have the, the bendy thing. That's a three-way bendy thing. Uh, we have the X, uh, we have a four-way double T, I guess, and then we have the usual, and then the straight. Uh, no, so the hangy doodads are visual only. So if I were to try to take this one and put it underneath, it just tries to put it right there with the hangy doodad not actually attached. So what you end up having to do is you have to manually move, or you have to manually angle your parts so it's hanging down a step before you place this. And then it looks right. So um, if we, let's do that. So let's do that. And then uh, that. And then we go down, and then we angle that way, and then we rotate so we're facing upright so my brain is less hurting. Alright, so then we rotate, and you've got that nice look going on. I would, I would probably laugh at them, take my time to very gradually and slowly uh, sh put my tool on the bar and then shoot at them until they blew up. So yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, and on top of that, what you can do is, um, let's grab five, get rid of some of those. And you could do, let's grab the long doodad. Oh, I can't do the long doodad because this is in the way. Get out of my way, stuff. Out of my way, stuff. Whatever you are, stuff. Get out of my way. I may or may not have broken whatever that is. Stuff in my way. Alright, so then we can do the uh, short one. And then... That. 
and actually put blocks for it to look like it's connecting to. And then you have something like that, where you've got a long segment that's held up by two different bits. So yeah, there's definitely some nifty stuff that you can do with them. And I like the long segments, because having to place multiple of the short segments in a row, kind of obnoxious to build that way. So I liked having the option of uh, longer parts. Uh, now another thing that I have is... Uh, these are the, um, the AZ conveyors, which look a little bit different. I don't know how different they look, but they do look different. Ooh, Dalex are four. Um, don't have an answer to that. That's a small conveyor tube system, so never mind. Do I have a small conveyor tube to attach this to? I do. So just a different look for a small conveyor tube system, apparently. And they're all small ship. Okay, it's fine. Uh, we have conveyor adapters, whatever that means. Uh, there's another thing that I wanted. These. Let's grab these. Meteor storm inbound, you say. Right. Damn, those things can shoot. <laughs> All right, so these things see if I can get them working. Um, these are uh, conveyor walkways. Uh, so that's four, rotate, 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 and then let's do that, and then rotate, and then rotate, and then we can do that. Now we have a walkway that has a conveyor system underneath it. So I thought that was kind of nifty. That is brutal. Brutal, brutal blade. I need to catch up on some of the chat. I missed some stuff. That is true, the Daleks uh, kind of fail miserably at actually doing things like kill enemies. Mostly all you ever really see of them is people being scared of them. Alright, what else do we have for conveyors? Uh, we have the conveyor air vent that uh, Civil recommended. Uh, I honestly don't know what its entire purpose is. Like, is it just conveyor plus oxygen removal, or is it more like what, what's 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 the do? What's what's the do? Ah, okay. So, regular old air vents are like so. Got it. Got it. 
Um, but you also have the option of doing a partial air vent. Which is also pretty nifty. And it gives you an alternate T junk or an angle junction for your uh, conveyor system. So that's kind of neat. Now, can you do air and conveyor at the same time? Like, can they. Is it a dual purpose tube system? I'm assuming yes, but I haven't had to deal with that. Yeah, it's nifty. You can definitely go up in a ceiling or something like that, stay out of the way while still being useful. Uh, let's see, we also have the boarding ramp, which I have not played with yet. Uh, these are the uh, Colt console command pack. So let's do that, that. That nifty looking. Nice little button doodad. I like it. And this is a wall button doodad. I also like it. their buttons. You can actually do stuff with them. These are definitely nice. So many buttons. Looks like this is... I don't know what that is. Maybe they have LCD screens that you can do? So yeah, this one is the um, the Colt Command Console Pack, and from what I saw of all the different mods, uh, it's one of the like default standard for additional console packs, or for addition to console buttons and whatnot. So the other one, and I know Lord Zyron was eager to see this, uh, is the S something. Yep, the S something. S Moon Project Preview for Cockpit. Cockpits. So we got the seat, that one, that other one, this thing, that thing that looks similar to it, that other one, this pool table, uh, I don't know what that is, and a giant glowy sphere thing. Alright, so we got a chair, which looks very nice. And we've got a chair with a console that looks oh so amazing. Let's take a look at these three first. So we got the same chair, and we got a chair with. Yeah. No button on the side though. I was kind of hoping there would be. This one is also neat looking. Look at that shit. Alright, then we got this one, and that one, and that one, and then we got this little uh, table thing, and we got that little table thing, and we got whatever this 
spear looking thing is. So take a look at these. We got basically just multiple different options for command chairs that all look very awesome in all the different ways. Could definitely build a nice bridge out of these things. Um, these things obviously are overlapping because I didn't leave them enough room next to each other, but that's okay. Um, actually, it's just this one that I didn't leave enough room for. Uh, and that would be number six. Let's move that out on its own. Very nice. Uh, and then this one, that I don't know if it has a purpose other than being pretty. Doesn't look like it has buttons on it or anything like that. Ah, that's a thing. What's that thing? No, it does not appear to have any controls on it. It's unfortunate, but you know, that's fine. Uh, and this one is probably an LCD. Oh. It doesn't appear to do anything. It is an LCD panel. Oh. Public title. Edit text. Okay. Maybe. Can I... Danger? Aha! So they can show really big stuff on them. So let's do... That one. Does it cycle them then? I might have to look into this one to figure out how it actually works. Let's remove that one and look at the shield. Okay. So I'm guessing it can be used to display any of these icons by by program, either through the shield um, the shield status thing or uh, warning icons if you've got damage or uh, an arrow, I guess. Meteor storm inbound. An arrow to go that way. So yeah, neat. Uh, what does this thing do? This thing does. Nothing, apparently. Uh, the shield stats is a mod to go along with the energy shields. So we have energy shields, and I think I have two different shield mods installed, and I wanted to test them out and see which one's which. Um, but I don't know which one does what yet, or how they even work. Um, I could put shit down and hope for the best. Shield. Thing, apparently. What does this do? Shield HP is at 14,000 climbing, so it is charging up. Uh, shield width, shield height, I don't know, shield depth, sure. It does look awesome, but what does it do? Ah, shield. So this is the station shield, so obviously it's got hella range. It 
It doesn't look like much from the inside, but it does appear to create a shit bubble. Neat. Uh, so this is the shield modulator, which I don't know what that does either. It looks really nifty. Uh, virtual mass? A lot? I don't know. Push the buttons. See what they do. Not a clue! Definitely worth reading up on. Because <laughs> I got no clue what's going on here. Alright, so let's remove these. And then try the other one. Do things? Dunno. Dunno if it did things. I mean, they look cool, but what do? Shield capacitor, shield flux coil. On. On. I don't know. Um, sure. Sure. No clue what's going on. Uh, let's try, just tack him onto the ship and see if that helps at all. Uh, let's do that, and let's do that. Okay. Aha! Now I get it. So let's go with the large shield generator. And I don't know the small shield generator. How big is the small shield generator? It's can be fairly small. So if we put the small shield generator on here, is there an augment spot anywhere on it? it does not look like it. The large has plenty of room as well, but does not appear to have any augment slots on it. Meteor storm inbound. Seriously? What's up with you meteor storms? There's lots of you. Alright, so this is the big ass shield generator. Shield generator. Sure. Is it doing a thing? Ah. Stuff. Running into stuff is bad. Do we have a shield? We 
We do have a shield. Whoops. So clearly, this one is not working. But this one's working. It's working very well. seems a little bit overpowered. Yes, I was just thinking that, Blade. <laughs> like, seriously. Really overpowered. Because this is the elite rifle. I'm able to go around and destroy entire large ships with this thing. For example, let's go uh, do a little bit of damage to this thing. Uh, what are we going to shoot at? We're going to shoot at... I don't know about that. Alright, so clearly it's not able to do as much damage to big ships as I thought. But still it can. What's that? Oh, that's just... Shrapnel. Okay. Uh, I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't think I can place in anything, unless there's a command. Uh, if you've got a command, by all means, let me know. Bye, Civil! So enough, enough of the shield messing. Uh, we do have a hyperdrive, which, uh, when I tested it, was able to go uh, 288,000 kilometers. Well, right... But I don't have anything in the blueprint menu. Like I don't, I don't have anything in the blueprint menu to place. So, yeah, I can place one of the two ships that I built, but there's nothing. I don't have access to any of the blueprints that are, you know, for the enemy NPCs in the game. Oh yeah, that, that protects all damn ship. Does it protect that? Yes, it does. So it's got quite a distance. It's either distance or it's just everything on the grid, which is entirely possible. I could shoot at that, no problem. All right, good to know. Uh, let's see, boarding ramp, colt, large drill, uh, large grinder, big gate, hyperdrive, um, defensive shield of some kind. Uh, so this is the hacking computer, which is very nice. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. Um, it's relatively powerful, but also will save me heartache. So I kind of want to, but I don't know. Um, we've got this nifty little orb cockpit, which looks something like so. Come on. Sure. So it's a nifty little cockpit of some kind or another. Uh, obviously meant to be like TIE Fighter-ish.
Oh, you're talking about the the hacking computer being hazardous with turrets? Yeah. Um, I did run into a bit of that for sure when I was testing it in uh, a different game. But yeah, we can take a tour of the red ship. Let's see if I can figure out what else is in the red ship. Right, so we have the little side entrance. A uh, little glass window here. Uh, some kind of hangar? Things are going on outside. Here we have a command station. This is the default command station that you've got in the crashed red ship, because everything forward this point is destroyed. So in the non-destroyed section we have an overview window of the hangar. Um, and up we've got, I don't know what this is, outside apparently. All right. And then up here, we have a little power pack, and that's about it. Power pack or gyro? Gravity generator, okay. But nice view outside, very nice. Uh, that's just air vent. I'm probably letting out all the air, but that's okay. I don't care. Um, med bay. Another view outside. Very nice. I like the angled glass look. This could use some tables and chairs, though. Uh, let's see. I think we could do some tables and chairs. Not that button. Nice tables and chairs. Okay, just chairs, but still. <clears throat> uh, yes, actually, the, the red ship, I could make a blueprint of it. So these are just straight airlocks outside. And this is the control seat. Uh, the control seat, which has glass. Nice. Although there is no way to get back up from here. Hold up. There we go. Okay. Um, so let's see. That button. I have entirely forgotten how to select a ship for copy to blueprint. That button. There we go. Alright, so 10. Create from clipboard. Big red. Alright. So yes, now we have a copy of the big red ship. Hooray! Now why am I copying the big red ship? Alright, what other mods we got? So that was the, um, the orb cockpit. Um, we got the laser drill grinder, etc. I already had those. Armored windows. Now I haven't actually put down the armored windows. So let's grab one of those and see what they look like. Uh, do I have a good spot for them on here? Not really. I 
think these are button driven tokens. Yes. Very nice. And they have a very lovely reflective coating to them. Very nice. Let's put one here. Fascinating. It's not working in here. It worked over here. Didn't work over here. I don't get it. Alrighty, Lord Zyron, you have yourself a good night. Oh, I shall. Uh, so this is another thing that's nifty. Uh, this takes a large uh, ship base that we're on currently and allows you to put small ship components on it. Uh, so let's grab that. Uh, I don't have that one. I don't have any small ship components that I can put on here. There we go. So that's the, that's the small ship variant of the air vent. So now you can put uh, small ship components on a large ship grid. Um, and I, I, I remember that was an ask from people who wanted uh, things like a small button that didn't take up an entire large grid space like that. So that was the reason that they made this component right here. All right, what else do we got? We have automated shipyards. Now this is potentially a replacement for the nanites, where you build the shipyard out of these uh, grid frame components, and then you can either have it automatically build or weld or even deconstruct ships that are within the space. So I wanted to test this out and see how well it worked. Um, I did test it out once on a previous game, and it seemed to work just fine. Um, but it's kind of a pain in the ass to build, so I don't really feel like doing that right now. Um, azimuth components. I've played with the reactors. Those were good. Um, I have not played with the thrusters yet. Frankly, I don't know how good the thrusters are. That does not appear to have a texture. Why does that not have a texture? Either it doesn't have a texture or it's just gray. That's entirely possible. Uh, let's see, painting. I don't know how to paint. I have selected the desired color. Magic, I did that very shortly after I started streaming, honestly. 
um, there were some discussions that were going on in chat that I had no control over that were uh, very inappropriate. So I figured it'd be safer just to uh, make it 18 plus in case anyone uh, has problems with that. I get plenty of people who are under 18 anyway, and they just click OK. I, that's, that's as much control as I have over the situation. <laughs> I am not concerned about it. Okay, so they do have textures, they're just... Yeah. So how the hell do I color parts? And why is it now letting me do it when it wouldn't let me before? Whatever. Anywho. So now I know that I can do that. So we've got long, short, slanted... Yeah, okay. Let's do this. That's not what I wanted. That. Okay. So then we do slanted and we rotate that way. And we rotate that way. And then we rotate that way. There. So what do we have for cockpits that I can put on this thing? Sure. That one. Uh, not available for large ships. Okay. Yeah, exactly, Blade. It works perfectly. Uh. Do I not have any large ship cockpits? Fine. I'll search for cock. Um, small ship, small ship, small ship. Small ship, small ship. It appears that there are no large ship cockpits except for this one, apparently. I should fix that. Now this is an interesting one. This is a mech cockpit. So it's a slimline cockpit that you can get into and drive it kind of like a mech. And in comparison, there's the standard full-size cockpit. Don't know how to get into it. But I can get into that one, no problem. How do I get into this one? Okay, well that might be a problem. Hey, there we go. The entrance is in the front, apparently. Sure. Let's start off with... Small. And then we can give it... Boosters. Do a gyro of some kind. Now this is one that I wanted to do because it is a gyro that connects on all sides. Whereas the vanilla gyro does not connect on all sides. So you end up strapping it to one piece and then everything goes to hell. And you don't have easy access to connect stuff. So I like the idea of having one that has connectivity on all sides. And then a reactor... I don't have a similar option for a reactor. Uh, just big. Hey. 
Hey, there's a size that I can fit. Um, and then we've got. Yeah, okay. Oh! Oh! Oh dear. So this is a little bit zippy. I like it. Only problem is I don't I didn't give it uh, six degree movement, so I kind of have little little control over which direction it goes. That's okay. Ooh, that was hazardous. If I can get this thing to stop moving. I will add six degree on it. <laughs> Stop moving. That point. There we go. There's zero. All right. So let's attempt to give this thing six degree movement. We can do some up, and we can do some down. Down, left, right, forward, back. Good. That's the kind of zippy speed I wanted. So, unfortunately, the engines that I'm using right now, while powerful, are, um, they require more expensive components. So, in my, in my, uh, survival game, I don't have the parts to do this yet. I think I'm missing that platinum. At least I think that's the required part. But, I do love the control on this thing. Now, so far, I've been building a lot of my ships with basically minimal parts. Um, obviously, this one is nothing but cockpit, engine, reactor, and gyro. Um, what I want to start doing is making stuff like this, where there's a lot more uh, armor components to make it look like a proper ship. With corridors and hangar bays and all that fun stuff. But I find that difficult to do in um, survival mode. Okay, this thing's fun to fly. <laughs> just, just putting that out there, it's fun to fly. Um, I'm going to see how well it crashes, though. So we're going to take this copy of the red ship and... Um, hook it up! Hook it up! Yep, made a hole. More like a divot, really. Uh, I think this is the only part that's left of the little ship. Oops! I say oops, but that was very intentional. Alright, what else do we have for, uh, stuff? So this is the Azimuth Collection. Um, I do like a lot of these parts. Um, these are larger thrusters. Um, but they are larger thrusters that can also go in small ships, so that might be fun to play with. Different shapes, different sizes. They all look really nifty, so I like them. Um, it might be enough to make me drop maybe one of the other uh, thruster mods, like the tiered thrusters or the base armor thrusters or something like that. But at the same time, these are like the only ones I can afford at an early game, so not really sure on that. More options are always good, so maybe I won't bother. Now these are other ones that I have access to. Um, these are S thrust, so these are part of the uh, the S series. 
which is the same guy that did the Moon Project, these things. So they're bound to look kind of nifty. Let's grab this one. Uh, this one. Yeah, let's see. Grab the large one and see what those look like. So this is the large thruster. Alrighty, Demos. Have yourself a good night. Nifty. This is the smaller variants of it. Basically the same thing. Um, however, they don't appear to have any sort of um, armor surrounding components or anything like that. So if you place them like this, just got floating engines. So they're really meant to go just on the back of a ship. Which is fine, but does limit their usefulness. Meteor storm inbound. There's a lot of meteor storms in this place. Alright, what else do we have for the S stuff? Um, we have the Kratos thrust. Uh, we have the Anubis thrust. Um, that is a large ship only. Kratos is a large ship only. Uh, there was one more. Imhotep. Uh, this one has a lot more options to it, but they all appear to be large ships. And by large ship, I mean holy balls. Probably need flat armor blocks to do that. Okay, so let's try... So this is the Kratos, and it's um, beastly looking. And then the Imhotep probably needs a similar build. So, kind of awesome looking. And the last one is this one, which I don't know exactly where I can put it. Definitely some significant capital size engines. With this one intending to be placed on the side to give you some more options for builds. Which is definitely a nice feature. So let's try flying this thing. That's the problem. And 
so we have hella acceleration. Do not have hella rotation, though. That's unfortunate. Well, we're at zero now, so that's a good time to put on a uh, gyro. Let's go put on some gyros on this thing. Come on, go through the tube. Where do I have room to put gyros on this thing? Kind of looking like the answer is not very many places. Sure. Yeah, this would definitely be a good Xbox game, for sure. Right, let's try to control this thing again and actually rotate the ship. That's a little bit better. Not perfect, but a little bit better. Right, so now we go back home. Meteor storm inbound. So these uh, capital engines are definitely impressive. about as close as I'm going to get this thing. Uh, another one that I have that is kind of important, especially for streaming. Um, obviously everything is really dark here. Uh, we do have a light, and it is a uh, super duper light, wherever you are hiding super light. There you are. And this extreme light can be very handy in lighting up all of the things. Uh, so let me find the control panel for it right there. So let's make radius larger. Why are we not on? Why are we not on? I know I did this before. Ah. Intensity? Offset. No blinky. Light's not working. And I know for a fact I got this thing working in a different game, so I don't know exactly why it's not working. But it's entirely possible we don't have enough power, so let's throw on a reactor. So these are reactors, and they are... Kinda neat looking. Oh god. Oh god, I strobed it. Oh god, that's wrong. That's a terrible, terrible plan. I did not intend to strobe it. Hold up. I'm sorry if I've killed anyone with epilepsy. I'm sorry. There we go. So now we just can brighten brighten up the entire area if we need to. Um, I'll probably have that on a switch at some point if I use them, because uh, I don't actually want it to be like hella bright all the damn time, because I do like the lighting effects of other things in the dark. But, you know. Uh, so this is an upgrade. Don't 
don't know what it does, but it looks nifty. So this is something that definitely looks like it could go well in, um, like, as a very large hallway. But also these things look nice, so, I don't know. They're very powerful, but I definitely want to use them. I do not know what materials they use, so I'm going to have to look that up. Eventually. But, it's nifty. Uh, and I think they can be colorized, too. Uh, probably not from that control panel. Hmm. I don't see color options. Now, I thought they had color options, because I thought I saw them in blue and purple or something like that, so that's another thing for me to look up and figure out later. Anything else I need to get rid of that I've just been farting around with? I want to test this door again. Yeah, it works now. So clearly the space did not have enough power from all the crap that I was installing, because this door didn't work earlier until I put on those reactors, so we're good. I'm going to get rid of these, so I have more space to put down stuff. Alright, what else do we got? Hyperdrive. Uh, these are concrete blocks, so nothing too terribly remarkable. And these are the other concrete blocks. I actually do want to compare the two of them to see how they look. Uh, so that, no, right, red. Uh, let's do gray, because gray sounds like good concrete colors. Uh, so this is number two. And there is no different size for that. There are different shapes for sure. And then number three also does not have different size. Okay. Well, they both have their usefulness, I suppose. So number three is a little bit more textured. And this one has more smooth, but it has a crack in it. So, I don't know. Um, but there's also curved pieces and angled pieces and all sorts of fun stuff. Um, and this one is... Ribbed concrete blocks, girders, composite armor plates. That's kind of neat. This is the ribbed component. And then the composite armor plates. Could be useful, I'm sure. That's, that's concrete. Uh, we have button panels. Lots of them. So multiple different options for um, different button availabilities. Let's push this button. Oh, okay. That is just for small. Most of these are just for small. And then starting here, we've got large ship options. Eight button elevator pad, you say? What does that look like? That looks like an eight button elevator pad. Neat. And then we have other button options as well. Eight button, I like this angled thing as well. So this, that is a really big block for two buttons. I don't really care for that at all. Because the other option is small, which makes a lot more sense, but you can't do that. Uh, and this is the other one, which works fine if you can put it on a surface, but doesn't work so great if you need to place it like on the ground.
Okay, so that's the buttons. Uh, let's see, concrete. So this is the conveyor air vent. We've covered that. Um, so this one actually is the conveyor hinges, and I did want to play with that. Conveyor hinge, head. Okay, so how do these things work? Can't put that there. Um, so this is okay. Safety detach. Torque. Interesting. Ah, okay. So this lets us potentially rotate it. This looks like it's going to control very similar to a rotor, which I don't know how to do yet. But, good to know. Otherwise it just looks nifty, so there's that. There's a ship! So this will give me a perfect opportunity to play with the hacking computer. Actually, let's do that. Hacking computer can go on there. Meteor storm inbound. Screw your meteor storm. So this is the military transporter. It's got guns. I've never seen this one actually. What do you look like? Ow. Ow. Lots of ow. Okay, so if we put down a bunch of those, it should start taking over the ship. Um, and I can do that button to stay close to them. So these things, as they go, the orange light indicates a failed attempt, and the green light indicates a success. So as you can see, there was a green success right there, and again. So that's it taking over different blocks of the ship over time. Um, and the more you put down, obviously, the more chances you've got. Now granted, that is ridiculous. That's never going to happen in single player. And this guy has come along. And I just found some goddamn shit. <laughs> so my other ship, the, or that guy, is now under my control. And has decided that that guy needs to die. That's kind of awesome. Let's see if I can uh, take this guy over. He is not doing too hot. Do I have a spot that I can even put this on? There's a spot. Not a great spot, but it's a spot nonetheless. Now this is obviously just for um, testing around. Because, yeah. You would not be able to do that in... Uh, in a regular old survival game. At least not very well. Because you would have to come back here and you would have to put them on and then you would have to come in with your welder and weld it together. 
all the while being shot at. So you would want to do that after you've taken out the uh, the guns. All right. So the icon here, or the the bluish color, that actually indicates that it's all mine now. The only one that's not mine or that's not working is the gun turret that got destroyed and a couple of thrusters, but they're all mine now. So these uh, can be pretty overpowered, but I'm not sure what their costs are. Actually, let's look. Uh, 10 steel plate, 100 computers, 10 superconductor conduits. Those are actually really expensive. Uh, display, motor, large steel tube, construction components, steel plate. So overall, not too terrible, except for those superconductor components. Uh, the most difficult bit will be in getting to a ship without dying horribly and then being able to place things, these things on there. So definitely things to be mindful of. I'm gonna leave that guy there. And then go visit this guy because I've never seen this ship before. I don't think it took too much damage in that uh, mess. All right, so it lost a gun. Where, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? You're my ship. Ow. Uh, where are you going? Control panel. Uh, let's see. Let's turn off the reactors, and then we'll stop it from moving. I don't think I did that right. So now we're good. Except for the part where I left it um, unable to stop itself. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. If there is an inside, I don't know where an entrance would be. Maybe there's not an entrance? Or maybe it's in here. So those are blast doors. Can I open the blast doors? Door? Open? Need power? Now, okay, we're, we're breaking in then. All right, what we got in here? We have explosives, grinders, ammo, components. okay amount of ammo for sure. Uh, definitely an armory. So if I were able to stop something like this and loot it, 
Um, the main component that it has in it is loot. Or, duh, loot. Uh, it's got uh, ammo for the turrets and the missile launchers. And it looks like it's not easy to uh, break into. Lots of interior turrets. So, and that's where I think the um, the hacking computer is a little bit overpowered, because quite frankly, I wouldn't really be able to take this thing very easily unless I just hacked it from the outside and just took ownership of it. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to use this thing or not, but I like it for either testing or otherwise. So I'll keep it. Am I going to get lost in this damn ship? Hooray! I found my way up. Alright, so that's that. Uh, let's go back to the base. And meanwhile... Where were we last? We were last the conveyor hinge, okay. Look, there's another ship. Meteor showers, damn you! So conveyor hinges did that. Uh, next up we've got corner lights. Now these are just um, lights that can go down in uh, corners between blocks. So let's put one like right here. Okay, so it works better on um, full armor blocks. Where are you full armor blocks? This might be a good spot. No. There we go. That's a good spot. So standard, just corner lights so you can put a bunch of them in corridors and stuff without taking too much uh, space or without just being a little nubbin on the ground like that. Uh, let's see. So this is a corner thruster. So a similar concept to the corner light, except for it's a thruster that goes in the corner. However, it looks like the texture is broken. That's unfortunate. Let's see if it's broken after placing it down. Yeah, it looks like the texture might be just perma-broken. Sweet Jesus. Alright. No idea what that's about. Not a clue. Alright, so that one is broken. So that's the Dark Mechanicus Corner Thruster. Um, I know the Hellblade works, though. So it's not like it's a consistent problem on his mods. So let's actually do that. And then let's do a hydrogen tank and hydrogen generator. Now this is a one by one hydrogen generator. I think it's frankly a little bit too overpowered. But, it is what it is. Uh, actually, let's do the tank first. Okay, so now let's get in this bugger and fly away. Zoom, zoom. So I absolutely love the look of those engines. Now granted, bright pink, but that's okay. Pink can be a manly color too. But look at the acceleration on this thing. It's just absolutely insane.
But the good thing is, is I can recolor thrusters. So if I go into K, and go into the Hellblade thrusters, uh, you can change the color of them. So if I wanted more of a uh, deeper purple color, I could do that. Granted, that didn't work very well because there's two of them next to each other of different colors. So, let's see. This one needs to be the same deeper purple color. Close enough. Or we could go with a more tealish color. Red dye, green up. Let's go with that. So yeah, definitely some nifty options for coloring. Something got damaged. Oh, that's right, I shot it. Never mind. <laughs> when when uh, playing with your ships, remember which ones you've shot. They just look neat. But not very good for um, maneuverability <laughs> because they're just stupidly powerful. enough. So I do like them. I like them a lot. And I'm, I'm glad that one works, even though the uh, the corner thruster doesn't work. And there may be a way to fix that, but I didn't look too much into it. Um, so we also have this Marauder cockpit, which is a nice alternative to some of the, uh, the small cockpits that we've got. given us that is not a dark one that is a different thing altogether but this is the earthbreaker drill it is a stupidly large and stupidly powerful drill just it's all it is just a huge ass drill yep that's it just just a really big drill um, and there is a small drill component I believe That's the small and then large. So I could replace the front of these things with um, big ass drills if I felt like it. Like that. I don't know if I want to keep them. They're really powerful. But that's okay. Um, this is the other option, is the the large drill, which I find amusing that the mod is called large drill and there's one called small drill. Um, that just amused me. How large are we talking? So this is the small drill. Well, geez, don't get all grumpy. So that's the, the small drill and the large drill is roughly that size. Good lord. So that's the small drill on a small ship. The large one, I suspect, is even bigger. Looks like 
the large drill is the same size no matter which uh, grid it's on. Interesting. But it's big. I haven't played with this one yet, so I don't know how powerful it is compared to that one. But I'm assuming pretty dang powerful. Because I, I get the idea that a lot of people don't like drilling, so they want to drill as much and as fast as they possibly can. So a lot of big drills exist, or a lot of really powerful drills exist. Alright, uh, let's see, we were at the Earthbreaker drill, so now we've got this one I already had, the gyroscope. Uh, and this is the upgrade cube. I haven't actually played with this yet, um, but I think you just throw it on your reactors and whatnot. like so, and it just automatically upgrades it with all three types of upgrades, the speed, efficiency, and productivity. Um, so if we look in here, refinery, uh, yeah, so it's got productivity uh, 1,000 and 100%, and then effectiveness and power efficiency 140-ish. I don't know for sure if I have other ones already installed on here don't think so. So I think this one is just providing all of that. Uh, in fact, we can remove that and see what the effectiveness is after that. 100%, 100%, 100%. So productivity goes up a thousand percent and effectiveness and power efficiency go up a hundred, or uh, forty percent. So a little bit odd that this thing is not consistent in that regard, so let's put on two. Uh, so it's 40% effectiveness and power efficiency per block, and then 1,000% uh, productivity per block. So, again, overpowered, but maybe I'll want to use it at some point. It does take 3,000 computers to make it, so there is a little bit of a cost uh, consideration there, as well as 40, uh, 420 steel tubes, uh, 400 production control components. I don't even know what that is. Where is our assembler to take a look? Uh, so production control. That one. Uh, and that requires 83 silicon, 26 silver, uh, 20 gold, 8 cobalt, and 5 platinum. So those things are actually really expensive. And the fact that you need a few hundred of them, I would say that's probably worth the cost, maybe? Probably, maybe. Uh, azimuth supercharger requires iron, a tad bit of gold, and platinum. Okay, so this is the one that I don't have access to yet, which are good engines, but I don't have platinum in my, in my uh, survival world. So that's where the problem is there. Uh, is, uh, energy shields. So energy shields are next, but we're going to play with those. Um, now this is enhanced cockpit. Now I don't know exactly what it does, but it looks like you put down a base cockpit and then you can upgrade each part of it with different pieces. Um, trunk, sound, oxygen, light, etc. So let's grab a new slot here. So what are these? These are LCDs. Okay, so this lets you take your cockpit and put functional LCDs. Um, so let's do that one. Sure. Uh, trunk. No, it's not a it's not a component I can install. Okay. Let's put this thing down. Just a small ship cockpit, okay. Okay, so here's our base. Ah, okay, so there's different slots that you can put stuff in. So this is, um, that is not even a thing I should be able to do, I don't think. So if we do this, that doesn't go there at 
all. Okay. So if I get in here and look around, we've got LCDs on both sides now. Okay. That's neat. Uh, looks a little bit gimpy. Interior light goes there. Yeah, there's a little bit of issues with that one. A little bit of issues. That's going to take some getting used to, to try to figure that out. But, it has some t potential. <laughs> uh, potential for some breakage as well. There we go. So definitely potential for breakage, so I'd be careful about that one. Alright, so that's the special enhanced cockpit thing. Uh, extreme lights are covered, including a ridiculous spotlight and corner lights, etc. Um, these are gantries, which is really just that. That's all it is. Just a decorative block that has the potential to make nifty structures and whatnot. And it looks like we've got small grid as well. You go that way now. Congratulations, you're free. Okay, what else do we got? Uh, so this is the gravel resource extractor, which can take uh, rock and gravel and get minuscule amounts of other resources, uh, which is very nifty, um, because that gives rock a purpose, as well as the concrete that I added in. Because frankly, I didn't see much purpose to rock, so I wanted to give rock a purpose. Someone has said a thing. Not relevant to me. Perfect. So let's grab the gravel resource extractor and there's also a stone grinder? Stone crusher? So let's play with these. That is the big old stone crusher. I'm assuming, yeah, there's a, there's a bottom part there, too. Alright, so if we flip this... Like so. Just to see what the different uh, sides look like. Okay. Do we go get some stone and test it out? See how good it is? Do I have stone? No, I do not have stone. So let's get stone. Let's use our new this thing. God, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> Alright, so this is our new massive stone grinder doohickey. Uh, let's activate uh, weapons and tools, activate those drills, and activate these drills. Uh, are they active? There we go. Alright, 
They don't seem all that overpowered, which is kind of nice. I mean, they're definitely powerful, but not like ridiculously overpowered. Okay. Now these guys on the side, I know, are overpowered. So let's drop this thing down. Yeah, those are definitely powerful. Um, however, I think I may or may not have forgotten to uh, connect them to anything. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let's grab that stone. Set this thing down somewhere before it hurts something. I shall park it. Uh, we're going that way now. We're going that way. You, you, you'll figure out how to stop eventually, right? All right. So I want to put in here. I want to put this stack of. 34,000. And then over in the refinery, this stack. Now, bearing in mind the fact that I do have those really stupidly overpowered uh, upgrades on there. Because, yeah, those are at uh, 21, 2100% productivity, etc. So, if I look at this, it's already done. Meanwhile, this thing is still going. So, let's do a more fair assessment <coughs> and take off the upgrades. That will give us a better idea of the fairness of it. And then, I want to take out this grapple. So if we put in, that's not a number, put in 10,000 over here, and then come over here, take out this gravel, and put in 10,000 over here. Okay. So this one is at 8.5, and it's at 3.4, or sorry, 1.4, and this is at 6 already, 5, and at 4 something. So for stone, this is definitely faster, but I don't believe it has any upgrade slots, which means that the refinery has the potential to be better. So that's a thing to consider as well. Refinery is now at 6,000, and this, I suspect, is already done. Yeah, this is already done. And it's a one-for-one -one gravel conversion, which is good. And this is shaping up to be about a one-for-one -one gravel conversion, but also much slower. Leave that thing go, and then I want to put on the uh, refinery. The, the refinery. Alright, so this is the blast furnace. And it's got small and large. So then in here, I can put gravel and get tiny amounts of stuff. And I'm curious how much stuff we're going to get. Because there is a question about balance. And in fact, let's do this. Let's put in 10,000. That'll give us a number that may be useful. And then I also have another one in here somewhere. This is the gravel resource. Hmm. 
maybe I only picked one and added one. I thought I had more, but I could be entirely wrong on that. Oh, there's more. I didn't realize. So we've got basic battery, capacitor, and fuel cells. Again, a lot of things I don't really know what they do. Alright, so we've got the work bee. This is another cockpit. That only has small. But it looks kind of neat. So we've gone through 700 kilograms of gravel, and we've gotten 26 uh, kilograms of iron, half that of nickel, etc., uh, down to a little bit of uranium, platinum, etc. So as a secondary resource income, definitely useful. So I'm going to have to get one of these going on my survival game, because that would be very handy to have at least a source of platinum. It would not be much, but it would be something. And then there is... There is one slot on the back, so I could potentially chain them together. So I could potentially have another one, like, right here. And then they should be able to connect. So actually, looking at the refinery output, we put in 10,000 stone and got 8,000 gravel. So it is not even a one-for-one -one return, which makes the stone crusher much more useful in that regard. Early game, until you can get the productivity up on the refinery. So that's good. Um, so stone crusher's got 10,000 here. Gravel resource extractor, two. They're not connected. That's fine because I didn't put them somewhere that could be connected, but it is accessible. All right. Where were we? Extreme lights, gravel, uh, so pulse cannons. Things that are things. Um, I don't know how much energy they use. I don't know really anything about them, but I have a feeling they're, they're probably gonna be neat. Photon Torpedo Launcher, uh, XL Citadel Plasma Cannon, and uh, Nova Heavy Plasma Torpedo. Those things sound kind of neat. Uh, so judging on the size of these things... Yeah! Oh dear god. So, yeah, capital size weapons. Oh, Jesus. Um. Why are you shooting my ship? Could you not? <laughs> uh. I mean, I appreciate your enthusiasm here, but I, I would rather you not do that. <laughs> Alright. So, meanwhile, I'm going to go in here and test out the uh, torpedo launcher. Hey, communal Mist, thank you for that follow. Appreciate that. Alright, so let us do this thing. Uh, shoot once. Whiff. Maybe not shoot once? There's probably a reload period that I don't know about. 
if we go back into G, what other options do we have for this thing? Um, shoot on off. Oh, right. Okay. So, how much damage did that do? That did a pretty sizable chunk of damage. Good lord. Alright, good to know. I mean, granted, it is a capital weapon, so a damn will better be doing a lot of damage. But still, oh jeez. Oops. Well, glad I was not in the way of that thing when it went off. But, um... Oh. Let's not be in the way of this. And I want to see if I can capture this. Okay, so it's shot right straight down through here. And, uh, next shot's probably gonna carve straight through it. Unless the ship is rotated by then. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Uh... Sure? Do whatever you just did for some reason? So, I'm going to leave that on. For no other reason than why not. Because I don't need that second red ship. It's fine. Oh dear. Oh dear me. Now, meanwhile, I have a giant hole taken out of my goddamn ship. Or my station because the other turret decided it was going to start firing on my own stuff. Don't ask me why. Unless the answer is owner nobody. That's the answer. None of the ship is technically mine, so it decided it's just going to start firing indiscriminately at everything nearby. Aw, oh, it's not, not in range anymore. Let's fix that. That should do, right? Let's see how this goes. Yup, that was a good shot. All right, let's move it down a little bit and then we'll leave this thing to be. There goes a part. It's floating away on fire. That was lovely. That was lovely. Alright, so we're going to leave that be. And I'm going to push this away. You, you're, you're free. Go. Go be free. Go. You're not going or being free. Why? Can't find be that way. Come on! Okay, so that's that weapon. Um, so I'm definitely gonna enjoy those. Uh, and that was the GSF pulse cannons. So I think. I read the description that these are based on EVE Online, but I don't know for sure because it's been a long time since I played that game. Uh, High-tech camera. This gives you a different camera look, um, just different overlay for the most part. Uh, hover engine does what it says. It's a replacement for wheels. Um, the large ship Ezo cannon. Let's let's test that out.
Okay, so that means we're gonna have to use the the Ezo cannon. Uh, so let's turn this thingy off and find the Ezo cannon. Shoot once for now. It's shooting behind. Pointing in the wrong direction. Let's go fix that. Yeah. Probably just uh, shot parts of my own shit, but that's okay. Uh, so, seven. Get rid of that. Point it the other direction. apparently. It's a little bit powerful. So let's do not shoot once, but shoot on off. Uh, let's back up a hair and see what the, what the damage this thing can do. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, so that goes under the ridiculously powerful category. You are terrifying. Awesome. But also terrifying. Alright, so that's the uh, Izo Cannon. Uh, we got maintenance tunnels. Uh, I showed these earlier. Um, definitely a Jeffrey's Tube situation that I definitely want to use at some point. Um, the Mega Container, supposedly, is exactly what it sounds like. It is a very, very large container. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think that's the shield kicking in. Okay. So that is the mega container. And if we take the large container next to that as a comparison, that's the large container by comparison. So it is definitely a mega container. Uh, can it be a small? I don't think it can. No. I see a military escort over there that I want to test out. So you are not going very far or fast, but we'll do that. Doubt that's going to hit. That is loud and obnoxious. I don't know the range on these things. Didn't remember I turned that on. Um, but yeah, I don't know what the range is. That looks like it fired and stopped at like a thousand kilometers, maybe, maybe even less. Let's go take a look at this guy. Oh, that's almost hazardous if I were going faster. Requesting backup. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Um. 
ability to drive the same thing. That's a passenger seat. That's also really obnoxious and loud. going to die a horrible death. So I think this would be a great thing to have on a cannon. Or I, uh... There's a way to do a turret using the the gimbals, I think it is. Or just have this on a front fire fast moving ship. Either way. Uh, let's turn that off, maybe. I'll shoot on off. There we go. Okay. Really hard to aim otherwise. But I'm pretty sure the thing is done firing. Pretty sure. Maybe. Have I lost home? I think I've lost home. Yeah, I lost home. Let's go that way. I think that's a collection of crap. So we have different engines that make different noises. Very nice. Hooray! My collection of crap is visible enough that I can come back to it. So this is um, a little bit worse for wear. It'll be fine. A little, little bit broke. A little bit broke. Okay. Uh, let's see what else. Pulse cannon, hover engine, ESO cannon, maintenance tunnel, mega container, uh, multiplex warfare. So these are more guns to work with, uh, which is good because um, the Blast cannons may or may not be good, may or may not be powerful enough, or may be too powerful. So we have other options for guns. Um, more conveyors. We've already covered these earlier. These are the different shapes and sizes of conveyors, which is good. Um, I already used these when testing out that fighter that is no longer in existence because it got blasted to hell. But um, these are smaller hydrogen tanks that have a different look to them. So let's do that one. I don't know what the difference is between... Oh, that's hydrogen oxygen, never mind. Um, and then we have the generators. So this is oxygen, and then we've got hydrogen. So we've got one by one, one by two, and one by three. So just different options for tanks that can look neat. Get rid of these, because they're just, they're just massive, taking up a lot of space. All right, um, is the stone crusher still going? Yeah. It is almost done, actually. 
So out of 10,000 gravel, we have gotten roughly uh, 350 iron, 240 nickel, uh, 160 silicon, 130 cobalt, 28 magnesium, uh, 19 gold, or 19 silver, 10 gold, um, just about 4 platinum, and about 1 uranium. So, not bad, actually. It's not... It's about a thousand worth of stuff out of 10,000 worth of gravel. So not a great return, but also better than nothing that you would normally get out of stone. So I'm okay with it. I like it. Let's check out what's next. Um, so this is Nanite Control Factory. I need to figure out how to use this before I can even begin to look at it right now. But it gives you a nifty looking block. And they apparently do things. We got things going over here to do stuff. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're repairing all the damage that's been done. They look kind of like they're doing repairs. Hard to tell. So I need to figure out how to use this damn thing before I before I play too much around with it. There is no small size, that's fine. And there's also nanite repair beacons. Uh, nanite area beacons. There's an ultrasonic uh, ore locator. Let's see what that does. Uh, projection, construction, destruction, cleanup. Mining, medical power, so maybe the mining upgrade would let them mine things? That seems like a thing that's supposed to happen. No idea whatsoever what this is supposed to do. Or how. factory has nothing in it. I have no idea what they're doing. They're just going places. Maybe they're just doing particle things right now to make it look like they're doing something nifty. Um, maybe they're planning on doing stuff and don't have resources for it. I don't know. We'll find out. But for right now, it goes away. So that's nanites. Uh, these are more passages. So kind of to go along with the Jeffrey's tube thing, you've got um, passages, passages that look neat. And they would make really good stations, for example. I just destroyed something. That block. Let's put a station there. Alright. So these will definitely be something I'll play with uh, to see what kind of nifty stuff I can make. Um, pistons. So these are supposedly pistons that do awesome things. Don't know how to use them. We'll figure it out.
doesn't appear to be moving. So that's the thing I gotta figure out. So much hostility. So much hostility, so much anger. Okay, so this is the pistons that I don't know how to use. Um, this is the platforms, which I already covered over here. Um, turns uh, conveyors into platforms, so you can have a conveyor system that also, or a platform system that you can walk on that also has conveyors underneath it. Um, more, more build possibilities. <coughs> um, power cables, just purely decorative power cables. So I could go from, let's say, my reactor, which I don't know where it is. Um, I can go from there, and I can do. A power coupler, apparently, like so, uh, and I can do up walls and all sorts of fun stuff. So there's sides and there's ups and there's downs and there's connectors. Just a whole bunch of options for power cables that you can make things look a little bit more industrial or decorative, and I am all for that. Um, RCS, reaction control systems, um, might be an alternative to placing a bunch of engines facing different directions. So let's do this guy as my only guy left. Um, if I did RCS facing that direction, it might be enough to give me better control, or side to side control without throwing out a whole bunch of engines like that. Um, I'll have to play with it to see how powerful they are. Maybe it's worth it, maybe it's not. I've heard that they're weak, so it might be not enough to, to justify, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh, so that's RCS, um, Rotary Airlock. Allows you to put down an airlock, like a so. And apparently there is a corner version as well. So then what you've got is me falling. You've got an airlock that only goes one way until you control it. So then the other side is open. So I don't know exactly how you would control this. Uh, maybe you'd have a player sensor or something like that. And this one is the same, except for it's a corner open. So, potential build uses for those. Uh, we've got a uh, rotor variety. Now these are bearings that can allow you to make rotating stations or other uh, rotating options. So if you've got a rotor, something that you want to spin, you could do that. I wanted to add them in case I had any ideas, but I don't have any ideas yet. So it's something that's future usage. Right, gravity's on. Bye. Bye. So I can go over here and build that. And then I can put stuff on it and then somehow figure out how to rotate rotate it. No idea yet. Um, but it would rotate at that point, and there's a hollow spot in the middle for maybe a different type of build idea. Who knows? There's plenty of options, plenty of possibilities. Uh, and then we've got the Anubis Thruster, which I already covered. Um, these are atmosphere thrusters, so they are like um, hover fans, or we've got just a straight up Osprey Copter uh, thing. Uh, we've got a compact jump drive, which I might get rid of, because I've got another mod that adds one of those, but I'll test them out and see how they go. Kratos drive I already played with, Imhotep drive I already played with. Uh, the G holder, uh, this is... Oh, it's missing textures. Boo. So I need to write these down now that I realize.
realize I'm not writing anything down. Uh, let's see. Space Engineer's G holder. And then uh, the other one that wasn't working was the dark uh, corner thruster. So that's been marked off now, so that one, um, those are the ones that I'll have to either figure out a way to fix or get rid of them. Um, now this one is just a, an alternative to these uh, legs, the landing legs, as an option to hold parts. So not necessary, just a different option. So if, they, if I can't fix them, then so be it. That's the G holder, uh, Imhotep thruster, the M thruster. Now these are um, thrusters that you can place on the side of something for thrust power. Don't know how good they are. I'll have to test them out. But another flat, nifty looking alternative to some of the thrust standards. Um, we've also got uh, magnetic wheels. And these, oh, it even comes with a nifty cockpit. Let's take a look at that. And take a look at that. All right, so this is the cockpit, which looks good on its own. And then the magnetic wheels are like so. <laughs> Bye. Bye. But it's just a nifty way to throw magnetic wheels on things different type of suspension, different look, different niftiness. Um, so that's the magnetic wheel. This is the magnetic wheel with a sphere collision. Let's see if we can put that on there in time. That's not the right option. I like how the wheels are technically separate objects. Uh, and then we've got magnetic sphere wheel. Definitely a nifty wheel option. Meteor storm inbound. I don't know how much planet side work I'm going to be doing, but who knows? I've got an entire solar system to play with. Uh, let's see, we've got the mech cockpit I covered earlier. Uh, we've got Milano thrusters, so these are similar to the other flat panel thrusters. Potential options. Um, and these are modular thrusters. Um, now I don't know which pieces do what, uh, but they are ultimately the ability to make a long straight thruster. So if we put, I don't know, that there, and then that, and then back to the other one, and then rotate it, not that rotate, that rotate. So now you've got one long flat thruster. So another nifty option for builds. And these are the atmosphere versions and these are the um, the hydro versions that burn uh, hydrogen. There we go. Brain slowly fading. Uh, so Moon Project already did. Um, these are multi-function thrusters, so these are, let's grab all three of these. So this allows for the ability to put down three different thrusters. So let's do... Can I not? Can I not? Okay, let's do that. Um, so three different thrusters. Now that did not really place where I wanted it to. Let's do that one. Okay. But they are modular. So you can put them down 
kind of any which way you want. But ultimately, it's meant to go like this. And all three of them are meant to stack. Um, and in doing so, you've got an option for regular thrust, hydro thrust, and atmosphere thrust, all in one little engine bundle. And this one says normal on it. Let's see if I can get this into flip. That's just weird. That's just weird rotation. Um, so this is the atmospheric. And I can't appear to get this one to rotate either. Interesting. I'll have to figure out how to get those things to rotate. It might just be something that I have to place like that, and then do the other one underneath that. And then do the other one underneath that. Not the easiest to place. So that's the final total engine. Definitely an impressive piece. I don't know how powerful they are, but I'm guessing fairly powerful. Uh, da, 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 da. So now we've got the um, other thrusters. They're just basic thrusters. Um, I don't know how powerful any of them are, so I'll have to test those over time. We got a vault door and a vault button. And these are straight up, you know exactly what these are. So three is the vault door. And then four is the vault door button. Okay, uh, vault door. Where are you, Vault Door? There you are. Alright, so let's open the Vault Door. Yep, that's exactly what we thought it was. And then there are other options for ramp or no ramp. That's not even right side up. There we go. Then this reconfigure to this vault door. Ah was the other way. I was confused by the little panel thing. So, yeah, it's upside down, but that's okay. That's okay. It's a vault door. Nifty. I don't know how I'm going to use it. Don't know if I'm going to use it, but it's there in case I want it. Alright, and then we have a nifty railgun. Let's see what the railgun looks like. Oh, balls. That makes me sad. Cause it's neat looking. So which one is this? This is the, the S small rail gun. Um, I don't know which that is, but I'll have to look it up and see if I can find it. Alright, uh, gyroscopes, 1x1 one one or 3x3, three three. I already covered those. Uh, this is another option for rotors. Uh, it looks very different from the other one, so I felt comfortable putting them both in. And I still have no idea if I'm going to plan on using them or not. So, who knows? Uh, so this is a fly-through shipyard. 
And this is something that's still recommended. And this is something that you can build like so. Okay, so getting it to cooperate Meteor storm a little bit rough. I wonder if there's a process to that. Because it only lets me put it like so. I can't go down. Weird. I'll have to fiddle with that and see if Civil has any tips on making that work. Because he's the one who told me to use it, so he's used it before. So I'm guessing there's a trick to it that I don't know. But ultimately that's not much different than the Nanit Control Factory or the um, other thing. The other thing that I said I was going to do, not the maintenance tunnels, uh, this thing, the automated shipyard. So if the fly-through thing I can't get it to work, the automated shipyard should do something very similar. So not not hurting for options. Uh, slim containers, I already covered those. Uh, this is the small ship mega pack, pretty much takes everything from the large ship components and makes small ship components available for them. So things like refinery was only a large ship item before. Um, the jump drive was only a large ship item before. So this is the one that says that I said ha I have an option for for the small jump drive. So I might not need the other one that's up there somewhere. I don't even care anymore. I'll find it later. So might remove that. Uh, Stone Crusher got it. Uh, this is the tiered engines. Lots of them. Anywhere from tier one, which is fairly basic, to tier four, which is the the angel ones, and those are supposed to be very powerful. Uh, same with tiered chip tools, large drills, welders, grinders, and then these are tiered upgrade chips. So definitely nifty options. Um, I think this was a compilation mod because the tier drill is four separate parts. Whereas the welder and the grinder are one part that just take the upgrade chips. Uh, and I don't believe even the drill takes the upgrade chips. But I'm not positive. And meteor showers, there's lots of them. So yeah, tiered, um, <coughs> tiered parts might be useful, might not. Don't know, I'll have to test them out. Titan engine, already did. Uh, tractor beam, I have not played with this yet. Um, I feel like that's going to take a little bit more effort to figure out. Uh, transporter, same with that. These are Star Trek style transporter pads um, that are probably very nifty if I could figure out how to use them. Like, can I just do this? Not a clue. That is definitely going to take some figuring out. There's probably some sort of option to trigger them on. Um, some option to tie them together. Like maybe I have to name them something special and then do a thing. Not a clue. So I got to look that one up. Because I want to use them. Because it'd be really nifty. Uh, so transporters. Uh, twin drills. Just more... Uh, drill, grinder, welder options. Uh, I figured they got twin in the name, so I probably should at least consider using them. Uh, these are um, updated compact batteries. Just batteries that do things. They're small ship batteries only, apparently. One, two, three, four. 
Um, all small ship except for... Yep, all small ships. So just meant to be compact battery options for small ships. That's fine. Uh, these are the airtight connectors. They are connectors that can be used to dock two ships together and then open up a door to walk between them. Because I don't think that's really been an option before. So that's nifty. I want to play with that. Um, this is a multi-floor elevator. So it lets you build an elevator up to nine floors, I believe. See if we can figure out how to work it. part that I've got right now is the elevator bottom. Um, middle. Top. Okay. Do I not have um, buttons to go places? These are probably supposed to be buttons. Gonna have to figure that one out. Supposedly awesome. Don't know. Uh, we're gonna be recovered. And this is the modular thingy. So that covers just about everything, actually. That, that covers just about everything. Um, lots of different parts, stuff that I don't know how to use, and I'm okay with that. Because I've got a lot of research to do to figure them out. So let's do a thing. Let's test, let's test the gun. Yeah, there's going to be a challenge finding all the different parts here. Alright, let's do this. And... These. So we've got Gatling turret, missile turret, interior turret. We also have the Telion dual battery. Uh, Telion octa battery. Um, orbital coil cannon, sounds neat. Um, heavy defense turret, so I'm assuming that's like the interior turret, but bigger. Um, battleship Cannon, Large Ships Only, um, Battleship Cannon Mark II, Mark II something round base, um, Mark I Batteries, these are small ships, so that's good. Uh, Anti-Missile Turret, also nifty, uh, Flak Cannons, uh, Anti-Fighter Turret, so something that's going to have high mobility and that can shoot small ships flying around, and then a 3x heavy battery. Let's do this one, and the Battleship Cannon, and the Heavy Battery. So these are flipping massive. Oh dear god. So putting that over here, I guess, let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that. Can I even put them down? That's terrifying. That is truly 100% entirely terrifying. And I have a feeling it's pointing at that. Well, I mean, I'm gonna let it happen. Gonna do something? We're just gonna stare at it ominously. Okay. Just gonna stare at it ominously. Okay. So this is another battleship cannon. We put 
there. And then the number five. Oh. Oh. That is a front facing only. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, and then there's that there. Yeah, those are definitely based on Galente weapons. Now that I see them firing, that's definitely Galente weapons. So it's attempting to shoot, but it's hitting the shield. Good. Let's get rid of that bugger. Um, so let's do. I have a feeling these are going to require ammo that I haven't built yet. Nor do I know how to build that ammo. Um, and I don't know which ammo it takes. Things to know. Things to find out. Where's even the ammo input on these things? Probably for the best that I don't know. This one's bottom center, so I'm assuming this one is also bottom center. Yes. Okay. Can I even hit it? Cannot hit it. So I would have to grinder that off a little bit to hit it. This one, can I hit it? Can. So I could potentially find out what ammo this thing takes. And where's my assembly? Production. Components. Okay, so we've got 460 millimeter magnetic slugs. Uh, we've got multiple different types of missiles. Um, 40 and 20 millimeter impact slugs. Um, two 40 millimeter HE shell stacks. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna need to figure out what ammo goes to what. Maybe get something written down for that. Azimuth actually apparently has something. Azimuth has weapons. Uh, we've got shotgun. We've got uh, Gatling long barrel, Gatling short barrel, Azimuth launcher, launcher conveyor. That might be something that looks neat at the very least. Launcher and launcher conveyor sounds like a thing that should go together. Uh, we also have shields that I wanted to play with. Okay, so these are the shields. Okay, and I'm assuming those can take some damage before causing problems. There's also the shield invisible. Ah, there it is. Barely visible. And I'm assuming that just takes incoming damage. So let's take our gun out and test that theory. nice. Let's do four and five. So four, this is the conveyor launcher system. I'm, ass 
assuming that attaches onto a conveyor. Okay, I can attach it to this thing. So either... Okay. And then number five, this is the cannon thing. Not have any texture. So I'm assuming. It I missed something. I missed something big time. Stuff was firing, things were happening. this a gun that is supposed to have paint on it? Sort of? So it doesn't look entirely complete. Like it might be missing something. all the texture it's got. I have no idea. I'll have, to, I'll have to poke around at that. The azimuth stuff usually does pretty good at textures, so it's a little bit odd that that one's so flat. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, so azimuth. We also have a futuristic antenna to play with. did want to go in here again and see if I can test out the other gun. So we've got this thing on. Uh, shoot on off. Uh, I don't think we have any other guns other than the turrets that I added. thing pointed at something. Uh, yeah, it just wasn't pointed the right direction. Let's shoot on off. Okay. Definitely good. Let's see if we can at least get outside and witness the destruction. dig it. It's pretty damn scary, is what it is. Is that thing really going to track that piece? It is going to track that piece. Yup. That piece got fogged. 
and they're attempting to track those pieces. Not doing so hot at it. Uh-oh. Uh oh I think that's decided on the blue ship. Have you decided on the blue ship? Or have you decided on the red ship? I think it may have decided on the red ship. Yeah, we're getting some screenshots of this. Yup. So things have been did. Things are being destroyed as we speak. Which one are you pointing at? You are pointing at... I don't know what you're pointing at. I think there must have been some piece out there that it has decided needs to die. But, I don't know what it's aiming at, so... I don't know. Uh, oh, there goes the blue ship. The blue ship has become the target. Oh, jeez, I'm almost the target of that thing. So, mental note, these cannons are terrifying. They have long, painful ranges, and everything dies. Except for that one, it's, done, it's gotten stupid, and it's firing off in the distance. I never even got to play with the blue ship. Where are you? F where are you firing? And can I get in the way of that? Just out of curiosity. Ow! I think I can get in the way of that. No. I can't get in the way of that. It's probably for the best. All right. What is left over here? Oh, lordy. Uh, not much is left over here, honestly. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. I think that's a, a nice finale for the evening. Uh, we have tested out some of the mods. We have found that the guns are massive and terrifying and explodey and things die when they get used. And that's kind of awesome. So this was obviously just a throwaway creative world. Um, may even may even keep bits and pieces of it around just to test around, but nothing's really left to play with. So, oh well. So yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Um, be back to my um, my survival world at some point in the near future. Um, tomorrow night's going to be seven days to die with Barton Blade. So maybe Wednesday. Who knows? But, um, that is all I have for tonight. So, thank y'all for coming. Thank you for any subs and follows I might have missed. And you all have yourselves a good night. See you next time. Bye-bye.